What's up, folks? It's your boy, Chris Lee, a.k.a. The Gamer Dad, back again for another episode of a game review. Now, what I tended to start doing is do reviews on demos that i played so far. And I know a lot of you probably played this demo as well or played demos before. It kind of changed your mind based off what you played on the game. And those who haven't played the game just kind of want an honest opinion before they spend their hard-earned money on a $70 game. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you make the right decision with your hard-earned money. I see you. I got you. Now, this right here is a review on Forspoken. Forspoken is basically a game that's been in the works for quite some time since the launch of PlayStation 5. Now, you had it with the original PlayStation 5 showcase. Um, it was in the works. The name of it was a little different than the Forspoken. Um... But needless to say, it was an interesting title that everybody was looking forward to play or looking forward to see more content on. Now, however, this is probably one of the most anticipate, anticipated PlayStation 5 exclusives in a while because it has been delayed. Now, as you see here, the graphics of this game look phenomenal. Beautiful, right? The demo I played, I'm going to have to be honest with you all. So far... Now, I do know a lot of times with demos that don't really give you the full spectrum of the gameplay. They don't really let you one row and just really get your bearings on the game. Just kind of give you an overview of what you would be playing. But here's to the creators of gaming. The game developers. If you're going to come out with a demo, give us the best what you have to offer. Don't give us just a gloss over, just a trial and run and error, just the mechanics. Give us the best you have to offer. Now, I'm not saying give us boss fights or give us anything that spoils the game as far as spoilers goes, but give us something that really make us go, wow, this game is going to be dope. Like, this is going to be something I can't wait to pre-order. However, playing this game, I have not, unfortunately, had that experience. Now, what I've had kind of experienced, as you see there, the gameplay, even with kind of the use of the mechanics, throwing rocks and objects at characters, it's a lot of going, lot going on, and you're not really sure what's happening. I found myself fighting birds, for God's sakes. Fighting birds. You're fighting birds and deer. Birds and deer. And I'm like, what did they do to you? In most games, they're in nature. You kind of like run past them. Or sometimes you might have a hostile beast that may try to come after you, run after you. But you're literally fighting birds and deer and a few people, Right? But for the most part, I'm fighting birds and deer. And I'm like, yo, this, what? Like, why is that even an option? Like, why is this an option? Like, again, is these animals possessed by something that caused them to, because they, they're not even attacking you for the most part. The birds do. But I'm really lost on what the premise is. I have no idea what's going on in this game. I have no idea. Like, they at least could have gave you somewhat of a backstory in the trailer or, or when you downloaded the demo, at least to let you know, okay, this is what's going on. But you literally just join throwing objects. It's like the game control and a Final Fantasy setting. Basically. Control and a Final Fantasy setting. You know? And it's made by Square Enix. So, I mean, Square Enix definitely is known for experimental game styles and gameplay. But this right here, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not impressed. And games are expensive now. So seventy dollars sales tax in most states, Carolinas I know is at least seventy four dollars total for a game like this. That's that's almost a hundred dollars for a game. That's not, in my opinion, this game is nowhere near worth a hundred dollars or seventy five dollars. It's not, it's not for me. I, I, I'm just not seeing seventy dollars written on this game. I don't. I, I I'm sorry. I can honestly predict, and I will predict, that when this game drops, maybe a few months after, this game is going to plummet down to roughly around the 49, the 45, 39 range, guaranteed. Mainly because of the fact that games now, they really build up anticipation, and they build up more than they can, than they can, they, you know, than they can produce. And they give you this like state-of-the-art, you know, theater-type, you know, theatric type trailer, you like, yo, this is going to be phenomenal. But then when you play the game, you're like, this is not at all. Like, look at the menu. Look at the menu here. This menu look like a, look like a playlist of Windows Vista, right? Remember the little the Windows player? That's what it look like, a Windows media player. Let me wind it back a little bit. Look at it. 
Like, the menu is laughable. It's la like, you know good and dang on well. You know damn well that you could have came up with a better menu design than what you you knew. You Whoever did that, shame on you. Shame on you. Like, watch it. Just wait for it. And it's just a lot with this game so far. It should be great. I mean, on paper, it should be great. But it's like, you have no idea what the hell is going on. Look, like, look at the menu. Come on, man. Like, it doesn't have to pop like that. Like, it's just... I know they want to be different, but... I really felt like playing a uh, Xbox a, a original Xbox title with that menu. But I mean, it's a loot game. You get loot on in the game as well, but it's just even when collecting loot, it just really feel like it's not you don't really feel like you really getting anything worth anything. It's like um you know, you got creatures you fight, but I'm lost. Like I really don't know. Is she supposed to fight beasts? Is she supposed to fight people? I mean, what? What is it? Like, you know, you got a crocodile, whatever that is. But, um, and then she pretty much just throwing rocks and objects at him. Like, I was looking to see great combos or some huge finishers, some really flashy, you know, automations when it comes to hitting finisher moves. But it's really, it's, to me, this game feel like this, feel like it's going to be very dull. It feel like maybe after an hour or two of gameplay, you're going to realize, yeah, this just ain't it. This ain't it. And that's what I've got from this game so far. It's just, I don't know, Forspoken, like, I hope the gameplay is way better. Because the demo, a lot of times, is significantly different than the game. Now, I have played demos of some games before. The demos wasn't all that great. But then later on in time, I end up picking up the game. Like, oh, man, this game is actually pretty good. So I do know is them testing the waters and basically seeing if the viewers or the uh, the whoever is purchasing this game or looking to purchase the game, what they're looking for in a game or if they're going to get good response. But like I said, even there, like a cool finisher would have been incredible there. But it's just, uh, I'm not sure about this one. Like we waited so long and it's just look subpar. Like, very subpar. Like, yeah, just like, no. Mm -mm. This doesn't look exciting to me. It, it, it looks all right, but it looks like, like if this game was like a five-hour game maybe, then, you know, I don't know how long it's uh, anticipated to be. But if it's like five hours, then okay, you know, that's probably as much as this game can give you before you get bored. But if it's anything greater than six hours, in my opinion, you're probably going to get it. You could probably get very, 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 very bored with this game. Um, granted, I know they didn't want to spoil a lot of things here. I don't want to trash the game completely. but And I know they want to kind of keep a lot of the good stuff under the hood until you purchase it. But here's the thing. If I'm going to give you a sample of something, I'm going to give you a sample that's going to make you come back. I'm not going to give you a sample that's going to make you think, I'll wait. And if you read the comments at a lot of game um, groups, a lot of people saying the same thing that I'm saying. I thank God I've got this demo. Now I'm about to go cancel my pre-order because this ain't what I thought. And a lot of people are canceling their pre-order of this game because they assumed it would be something. But then the demo, and the demo hurt it. In my opinion, the demo hurt this game more than anything. Because if, it, if they didn't drop a demo, people would have bought it just off the sake of the hype that was built and the graphic output and the trailers and all this evolved around it. But then when you got your hands on a demo, you realize, yeah, this, this, is, uh, this is a catfish moment, right? This is not at all what you've been telling me this would be. I'm glad. And I personally am glad because I've been buying a lot of PlayStation exclusives personally so I can build my catalog of PlayStation exclusive games. Um, but this is what I'm, I'm just going to completely skip out. And it's sad because I was really anticipating this game. Um, I mean, I'm sure the acting, I'm sure this, the, the, the interaction, the characters are going to be good. But it's just the gameplay just doesn't give you anything. Like, it's like very copy, paste, template style, basic style. You just took a preset and applied it and there you go. Very unfortunate for us, Forspoken. So, 
I am going to skip this game. Um, that's my opinion on Forspoken so far. I know a lot of you may have difference of opinions, and that's completely cool. That's what a game community is. Difference of opinions, difference of choice, difference of what really tickles your fancy. But this doesn't tickle my fantasy. This is very disappointing for me. So that's my review of Square Enix um, for Spoken. Again, if you like my reviews, my honest to God reviews, make sure you like and subscribe because check this, the more I support I get, the more content I can come out with. Peace.